What's up guys? It's Kyle here with some bit area gaming action tonight. We are going to stream a little bit of Super Smash Brothers Melee on the GameCube. I have some new equipment set up here, so hopefully this one will not fail us. It has failed me in the past, and um, I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> I want to do some adventure mode tonight just to show you. This wasn't in the original 64 version. This is... Um, it's very different than just your standard. It doesn't feel like a regular campaign. Let's see here. I want to make him blue. Yeah, blue one's my favorite. Blue on easy. Five lives. Let's give it a shot. You know, regular mode is always fun, but this, this adds a whole new level. Like, you get to experience each level for each character differently. It's not just, oh, I'm fighting Mario. Oh, I'm fighting Link in his place like this. I actually feel like I'm in the level of Super Mario, and it's really fun. It's a whole new take on Super Mario. You're like, hey, I'm playing Mario. Wait, I'm Link. How am I playing Super Mario right now? Like, And they added new things in this game. I don't know if I've told you about these before. Now I can grow huge. But this makes it a lot harder to navigate levels like this, so I'd rather not be huge on this part. Again, these guys aren't super tough. What is this? Oh, the invisible thing. I don't really like being invisible, to be honest with you, because I can't hardly see myself. And I've tried other versions of this game, like emulating it on the Wii. I've tried emulating it on Dolphin Emulator. Nothing seemed to work very well for me, so... This is the original version. This is the real thing played on the real GameCube. No, not playing it on the Wii, you know, whatever. This is the real deal right here. And it feels pretty authentic. I feel like, and I've mentioned this before, that when you play it on the GameCube, slight, slight, slightly slower. Not enough to even notice. But if you're looking for it, you may be like, huh, okay, I feel that little bit of lag or that little bit of extra load time every now and again. Oh, hey, Adam, what's up, man? Hey, can you help me out here? How's this sound? How's this? Is the game volume good? Is is my mic volume good? Give me an idea here. This level's kind of tricky because two on one, but it's not impossible. Nice. Oh, no, it ran away. Double team in. And you gotta watch them because they know when there's something about to happen because this level of stuff happens like the big bullet guy comes at you. And they know they will be dodging this whole side of the stage when that guy comes. You'll see it in a second, I'm sure. Whoa. Blowing me up here. Oh, audio sounds good. Excellent. This is with my new capture card, so I was hoping that it would run a lot more smoothly. I can use my better camera. I can stream. It, it's not quite working how I want it to, but... It's working for now. It'll do until I get all the bugs worked out. Capturing video and audio and doing all this together on the program that I like. There's lots of programs out there that do do this kind of capturing and streaming and such. But the program that I choose is OBS and it just runs so good if you, you know, get all the kinks worked out. see that over there. I don't know if it's supposed to be Diddy and Donkey Kong on this level. I think it is. I don't, I don't remember. And I don't know if I've said this before. I feel like... Oh my gosh, I almost died right there. Woo, did you see that? That almost blew me off of this level. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Oh no, now you're playing Donkey Kong. This one is probably my favorite into the franchise right here. Oh wow. I didn't have this one growing up. I, I was strictly Nintendo 64. But this one, the more I play it, the more I love it. Just this extra mode and more characters, more levels. It's just, it's a great one. Okay, now this level always freaks me out because I'm a huge Zelda fan, if you didn't know. And these freaking zombie guys will mess with you. Like, I think the zombies on Zelda, let's see, it was Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, however you want to say it. 
they scar you as a kid. They're like, they come crawling at you and you can't really kill them. And they grab you and suck the life out of you, so it's like, freaks you out. <laughs> Can give you nightmares. Um, so, I don't really like this level for that reason. Because they do basically the same thing. You can actually kill them on this one, though. So that's that's one positive note. In this one, you just go to different levels of this maze. And you fight Link a bunch of times. I think four is, four is the number of times you fight him. If you hit them all. You can actually find the end of the maze and just finish the map. You don't have to fight him every, you know, four times. However many times he's here. It's either four or five. There's a ton of them. Um, okay. Let's see, now I'm stuck. Yep, I gotta go back. It's a maze, that's why it's called. The level's called Underground Maze. Oh wow, okay, I can't see. The screen's pretty dark here, so I'm like running into these zombies. Redead? No, they're called Redead in the game. I call them zombies because you find them in the graveyard and they grab you and try to eat you. So, it's like a zombie to me, I mean. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Those guys don't hurt you as bad, so you don't really have to worry about them. Okay, no, 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 we don't go this way. All right, I'm turning around. Let's see what's over here. Oh, yep, those guys will eat you. Um, let's see what's up here. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, here's another one, okay. You can, it takes forever. Um, your time can run out, but you can get stuck in this level forever. If you're not careful. <laughs> and we're gonna hope that I don't get stuck here forever. Trying to jump over all these zombies just to make it quicker. Oh my gosh, that guy just fell right on my head. Oh, line of zombies here. Get off me. They can't hurt you as bad as they can in the actual Zelda game. <laughs> the Zelda game, those guys will take you down in a heartbeat. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's watching me. Come on, come on. Ah, ha, ha. Come on, this. Get that out of here. Trying to finish him off quick, but he's not falling for it. Oh, I don't want that Metroid thing. I don't like that thing. It doesn't it doesn't really help you at all. Yeah, I don't know. that it, it it really like if you go you know read about Zelda and about things that people remember from that game. That's one of the things that scar people is like you go through you you probably remember this level you go into one of the towns and you're you know you end up going through a graveyard and you're looking for something in this grave. Uh, I don't really know where to go. I think I go up. Oh, I gotta fight this dude. Oh no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have to fight him. I have to go right here. Yeah. Um, and you're going through this graveyard and. I think this is, yeah, that's the last part, okay. And you fall in, and you're like, oh my gosh, where am I at? Boom, the Red Dead are down there. That was the most scarring thing in that game. <laughs> like, I'll never, ever forget that. Still love that game, though. We will stream it at some point, I'm sure, because I love it that much. I don't have a good copy of Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. I've heard it both ways, honestly. Ocarina of Time, it's just a, kind of an awkward word. Ah, oh, Pokemon after me. I have Majora's Mask, but I don't have Ocarina of Time right now. I will get it, and I'm on the lookout for a gold version, because I want to match my Majora's Mask version. Ah, oh, get out of here. And you can be Zelda on this one, obviously, and she can transform into Sheik, which Sheik, I think, appears first in Twilight Princess. Is that right? Don't quote me on that. I think that's right over up with this thing. The most annoying thing in the world. Just keep blasting somebody with the attack. Doesn't really hurt, but gets annoying after a while. Okay. Yep, that was a bomb. Oh, I took her out. Alright. Great. Okay. I hate this level. It's not quite as hard on N64 Smash, the original Smash. It is near impossible on, on GameCube Smash. Because you can just be... I think it actually warns you when the level's about to fall, though. But, like, it disappears into the lava down there. That yellow stuff down there, that's lava. And you just... You're sitting here fighting, and all of a sudden, boom, you're in lava. You can't land anywhere. You can't 
fall off the map, it's you're screwed if you you're just gonna die. Oh, and it's unforgiving if you hit it. Oh, it's coming up now. You get zero warning. Oh, I missed it. Oh, see, it's coming up on me now. Oh, you got lucky, dude. Come on, come on, come on. God, I'm about to freaking die because of this level. He's got 150 sheep. She, I keep saying he, but if you didn't know, Samus is actually a girl. Oh, man. Missed him with the Pokeball. Dang it. Get out of here. There we go. Got him. This is some new side game thing that you have to... I think I failed it last time. I mean, you don't, like, have to start over or anything. But it's like... They got rid of some of the side games from the first one that weren't as fun. But this one, it's like the planet's about to blow and you just gotta run, 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 run. Get away, get away, get away. I ran out of time one time. I don't remember what happened. You don't, like, lose your life or anything, but... Platforms are getting smaller out of time. Got it. Whew. Planet blows up. You know, I think you fight Kirby, right? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I agree. I agree. There's no like, oh, you have to download this update. It's it's all on there. Um, this was like, I want to say it's the golden age because you could save your games. You know, back in the day, the old, you know, dinosaur era, you couldn't even save your game. You know, like the first, you if you died, if the power went off, you were just screwed. So this is when you got the game um, memory cards, so you could save your game. Um, I actually have a GameCube memory card. Yeah, I think it's in right now. So I can save, like if I unlock a new character, it will save. You didn't have to download the game to your hard drive. You didn't have to worry about, oh, is my hard drive full? Like, it's just, put the game in, boom, go. Now you got to some of the disc games that started getting load times. Uh, maybe the PlayStation 2 era, you know, Dreamcast era. There were slight load times, not huge load times. But this GameCube doesn't have a I mean, it's basically, boom, there it is. It's on. I think the best was when you had a hard drive to save your games on, and you didn't have to worry about memory cards. Kind of like the original Xbox. But you had some load times with that, you know. Games like Grand Theft Auto, where you had huge maps. I still want to stream some Grand Theft Auto on Xbox. Original Xbox. I have, uh, I have San Andreas. I don't think I have Vice City. I spent, I couldn't tell you how many hours I spent on Vice City. Okay, this stage is fun. It's extremely hard, but it is fun. And I like the Wii version better. Because it moves a lot more. Fox, again, probably my second favorite character because my best friend growing up was always Fox. Is that even gonna hit him? Nope. Ah. Oh no, nope. that's not good. And Fox has that cool move. I don't know if he's gonna hit me with it, where he can reflect whatever attack you do, and it's annoying. But when you're using it, it's great. I thought I could trigger it. Oh, there it is. He reflected my. Oh wow. I didn't know I was about to knock him out like that. We've come to help. Oh, here comes his buddy. Like he's a Hang on. And if you play your cards right, they we will shoot him. him. <laughs> That's another game I should stream sometime. Star Fox 64. Played that many times, too. Oh, missed me. Oh, you, that used to, like, go up the side of the thing. No, it doesn't. That's for sure. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, 
just got shot by his own friends. Oh, okay. Alright, yep. I'm getting shot too. Uh, hammer time. It's on. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, the hammer is just devastation. Oh, he's dodging me. Ducking and dodging me, but now we're over here in the corner. Who is shooting me? I didn't even see anybody shooting me that time they were shooting me. Get out of here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm about to die. I'm gonna die right here. Oh, no, I didn't. He is, he is like angry fox with this, uh... Oh, wow, I didn't even... That was complete luck right there. <laughs> I'm at like 100 and something, and he's barely hit. I dodge him with the hammer. Oh, is this the, um, I think this is the Pokemon level. Yes. This level's a blast. Simply, I don't care anything about the Pikachus being on here. They're just Pokeballs every two seconds, and it's just chaos, because you can just throw all the Pokeballs everywhere, and you just watch the chaos as all the Pokemon come out. It is just, it's so much fun. Oh, did you hear the whole story about Venusaur the other day? He's in a new game, and, um, which game was it? I can't remember off the top of my head, but they, uh, come to find out he's not actually of dinosaur descent I'm losing my lives right here but he's not a dinosaur pokemon they they designed him to where he runs like a frog and they're like oh yeah he's amphibious like a frog but his name is venusaur garbage venusaur is a dinosaur get out of here don't lie i don't know why you're trying to change the story that's been around for 15 years yeah i'm just throwing pokeballs i'm not even trying to kill him i should kill him <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try and finish this out here. Oh, this level is tricky. It's really just a running level right here. F1 Grand Prix. Falcons level. You just got to watch. You got to keep an eye out because it'll warn you. Boop, 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 boop. When the guys, when the race cars start coming by, here they come. I am about to die. Oh, barely made it. I got greedy with that one, I'm not gonna lie. That one scared me a little bit. Am I gonna make it? Uh oh. Whoa, got hit one time, okay. I'm not timing this one very well. I'm usually better at not getting greedy. Okay, this one's, let's see, you have to find, oh, not good, okay, yeah, you have to let them go over your head, okay, oh, I need to get that trophy right there, I'm not gonna worry about it, I'm not gonna worry about it, keep going, <sighs> y'all got me again. And then you get to fight him. He's an unlockable in the first game, but he's just one of the regular ones on this game. Whoa, how did he dodge my arrow like that? Ah, barely missed him. See, that's a new thing too, where you do that little, that thing where you like, I'm gonna call it a stutter, but it's like a hesitation to miss something thrown or somebody hitting you, and it's aggravating. I've not, I've not mastered that move. It drives me crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's happening here? This, this is moving too much. Get off me, bro. Oh, who got it? He did. Crap. I don't want this gun anymore. Get rid of this thing. See, I hate this level because, like, as soon as you get used to it, it's freaking moving. Get out of here. Whew. Oh, yeah, F-Zero. Yeah, you're right, Adam. That was a that was an amazing game. Super fast-paced. Love that game. I really don't like this level. Because I don't like Ness. I, you can't, like, there's no good way to knock him out here. Like, usually there's an open channel, you know, you just smack them one time, they're gone. And I can't keep up with those cars either. Like, those cars come out of nowhere, I'm not paying attention. They got these stupid little things that they keep throwing, I hate this level. <laughs> like, usually I can, I can just knock them out. Like that, and they... 
to get out of the level. But this, there's houses and there's these are awning things. Like you can't do that in this one. And I hate this level. Ness also isn't unlockable in the first game. I think you just get him off the bat in this one. Okay, I don't even have to finish him off that time. Alright, let's see which one. We're... Oh, this one's tricky. Because just as you start getting used to fighting in this one spot, oh, guess what? You gotta jump up. You gotta keep jumping. And it gets faster. The faster you go, the faster it goes. You can't lollygag because there's guys you have to fight at the top. Oh, there's a trophy. Let's go. Let's see here. You can kill all those guys if you want. You don't have to. And just knock them out. It doesn't really help you or hurt you. Oh, I have something landed on my head. Let's see, it's going to start moving quicker now. Until I get up here to where the ice climbers are. I don't like them because they run in like a team. It's like fighting two people. Oh, no. No. Okay. Whew. Hit that guy. Now it's gonna start going fast on me. Struggling to keep up. Where? Here they are. It's like, I know I'm about to hit these guys. Okay, so I got rid of one of them already. Unintentionally. So you think you've got them beat, but you have to hit them both. It's like, it's weird. Come on. What's this? Oh, bomb. Okay. Easy enough. I need to get a new controller. I tried those those um, GameStop controllers. They do not work well for this game. I don't know if it's there's button lag or if the, if I'm just used to a regular controller. Okay, so these guys are like fighting polygons from the first one. Just about as easy, but the gravity is all screwed up. So it's like you think you're gonna land, you know, a certain way. I just destroyed them with one swing of my blade. How did they get back? Um, but I, I tried it GameStop controller, you know, and I just was not a fan. I went back to my other one, but it's kind of ghetto. It's the uh, main joystick is all screwed up, so it like digs into your thumb. <laughs> I need to try and grind it down to fix it because it, it's kind of aggravating and uncomfortable to play because the rubber is gone off the top of it right here. It just, it's all jagged and stuff. I think, is this the, no, this is Metal Mario. Metal Mario also was in the original. And the same strategy, and you can still beat him just as easy. The same strategy, you get his, his damage up as high as you can, get him to the edge and just toss him. Keep him from jumping back on. Easy as that. Don't try and just flat out beat him, because it doesn't work. See, he's, he'll smack you one good time and he's still fine. Oh, wow. Did not know that was a bomb. See, I'm screwed. Oh, he threw himself off. I didn't even have to throw him off that time. I was about to throw him off, but. Okay, final destination. Here we go. Guess who it is? Bowser. Hilarious. And he's not he's not easy by any means. But if you play Mario, he's pretty slow, just like in the Mario games. You can hit him with distance attacks like that and get his damage up pretty high. That's the way to go. He does have some good attacks himself. Pokemon, let's see who that is. It's gonna help me out here. Okay. Excellent. Nice. And that should be game. Yep. Got it. Let's see what we got here at the end. I think you get to shoot the names like you do on the other on the newer versions. Wonder if I unlocked anybody cool this time. Let's try and go through this. I always want there to be like cool unlockable stuff here. But if there is, I haven't found it. I've tried to shoot everyone. I've tried to shoot certain things on the side you wouldn't think to shoot, like the little red dots that are floating around. I'm sure there's something here. In my mind, there should be. <laughs> little red things are hard to hit. Yeah, see, there's doesn't do anything. You can pause it too. Which one is it? I think it's the Wii version that you like smash things as they fly by you and you, you still get to be your character. That's fun. I like that. This kind of gets kind of boring, but. Mm. 
This is where a, a modded GameCube controller, like a uh, GameStop one, would come in handy. You could turn on the auto fire function and just sit there and hold it down and just. <laughs> I have one of those for Dreamcast. We'll stream some Dreamcast at some point because I still have mine. And I, I was a huge Dreamcast. I was a huge Sega guy overall. But I was a huge Dreamcast guy. We'll stream that at some point. But I had the modded controller and you could just hold it down and it was just. Like it was great on shooting games. Reload, reload. And you could just hold it all day. 90 hit, excellent. Let's see if I unlock anybody. Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations. Got the link trophy. Nope, no challengers. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna call it quiz for tonight. Thanks for streaming with me. See you next time.